They are actually doing a song for, for it, but then Yala right there telling us to be very, very careful and keep safe because Corona is still out there and it is real. My name is Foster Romanus. Yeah, today, different style. You don't know what I say. We run things, things never run. We don't see that. Yeah, today is Friday. It's a freestyle thing. I meet a boy and call Romanus and this is the late night celebrity show. You don't know, bring you a celebrity from divers. <laughs> diverse areas in the country yeah man and today it's a world different level you know yeah can you hear me <laughs> <laughs> so join me on whatsapp is 0202220054 today i'm dressed like this for a reason because today we are talking fashion today we're going to know everything it takes to be a fashionista whether there's a difference between a fashion designer and a tailor, a costumier, and a um, fashion designer, costumier, tailor, a yadiyeye, a stylist, etc. So if you're out there, you want to be a fashion designer, a fashion icon, a fashionista, a model, whatsoever, this is the place to be. It's live on ETV Ghana. We are live on Facebook as well. It is <sighs> www.facebook.com slash ETV Ghana. Join us on WhatsApp 0202222054. My guest is already seated. I guess, should I say, is aspiring to get into the Guinness Book of World. Hey, world Book of records. Book of world records. Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> Let me also remind you that we've already launched the Ghana Beverage Awards. You can log on to www.ghanabeverageawards.com to nominate your favorite, favorite beverage to win the award or the category. So log on to www.ghanabeverageawards.com and do the need for all your favorite and favorite and favorite beverage and also remember if you want to enjoy your sumptuous meal you need just one tomato mix if you want to enjoy your light soup your stews your jollof your do you want to describe them being on there stew my cast you <laughs> <laughs> soup etc it's lazy tomato mix Lizzy Tomato Mix is the best choice. It's in the market. Go get yourself a Lizzy Tomato Mix. And I'll be giving you the, the contacts very soon. Okay, so you can call for bulk purchase as well. But in the meantime, let me just introduce my guest who is already seated. He doesn't look it, but yo, the guy has actually conquered the world. He's gone far and near. He's doing the most. What you saw, Yala, where he did it. He's been didn't 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 plenty other people. So my guest is Elisha. What's a boy and a boy? Elisha boy <laughs> and a boy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> His boy is you. So Elisha boy is my guest tonight. So hey, you're welcome. Enjoy the show. Elisha boy. Boy. Yeah. That's your real name or. Oh, my real name is Elisha Ofori Bamfo. Ofori Bamfo. But growing up in the house, they used to call me boy. They still call me boy, though. Okay. So is it a gang boy? Yeah, I think it's a gang boy, but I'm um, from Crow. You're a Kwewan? one? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're a Kwewan? one? <laughs> so you have the Kwewu boy. The Kwewu boy. Yeah, yeah, your your voice has influenced my me tonight. Shout out to my Kwewu boy. Shouts to my atomic And the in the Bebo base. So Elijah, Elisha, boy. Elisha, tell me. I, I want to, I mean, mostly when we have people come, we ask them, um, you know, was it a thing for you growing up, how you got into fashion and all. But I want to ask before I get there, mm -hmm. have you rege um, re regretted doing fashion? Not at all. We just started. You just started? <laughs> yeah. We just started. So, I mean, we're just warming up. So now let's, let's go back. I'm sure when you started this. Yeah. The, the kind of notion behind people who do these things uh, is not very encouraging. 
Yeah. So let, let's now you are you enjoying it. Let's cast our minds back when you started and you wanted to do it. What was the response like? Okay, so um, my situation was not like um, maybe I had to stop school to do mm -hmm. fashion or anything. Okay. The time we started, I was still schooling. Like I've been schooling for so many years because okay. um, after SS, I had to write like plenty remedial so to the aqua scoop uh and if i'm to my bomb media yeah yeah blue yeah yeah blue yeah blue yeah blue trust uh me call center of aqua security man is ah what's my baby um yeah 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 i've been to um central university mm. i've been to penn school university I've been to Alliance France, eh, so. Are they? <laughs> Different uh, <laughs> degrees, and I said one degree, no, Nana. Um, when I started Central University, there was an issue with uh, grade me at there, so. Yeah, say uh, to me twice. Yeah, unless we write our enough deck and come back and a whole lot mm. of things. I had to stop and go to Penn School University. No, I had to stop and go to Alliance France eh, for like a year. Okay. Then. You studied French? You studied French, yeah. yeah. Basically, um, I didn't go there to study French. Like, I had nothing doing it. Alliance France, like, I just needed inspiration from there because of the programs okay. they've been organizing there. And as a student, we had, like, um, free pass to some of the events. Mm. So I was basically there to connect with other international students. And oh, that's just, a smart one. Yeah. Do you not find you feel it? Oh yeah, <laughs> French in the day. I was pass if you normal passing me, I had to repeat myself because I, I passed, but French in me to be because I was still <laughs> pointing <laughs> going to the next class. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then uh, after that, now called Pentecost University. Yeah, so throughout all the schools, um, that's when we started experimenting with fashion, like mm. trying to create our own clothes. Ideas, uh, okay. Yep. Yeah, so. I and my brother uh, starts here and then he, he's, he's better at sewing. So I, I come up with the ideas, like, let's do it like this. And then he will you put, it on. put something on. Mm. Then we start wearing it and people were like, oh, we like it. Mm. Then we started selling from there. So okay. through our, like, we going to school and uh, we were doing the clothes and selling. Okay. Before. What, what were you reading in Central University? Central University, um, English. Just English. <laughs> hey. English. English. And then Pentecost uh, University. Pentecost University, marketing and marketing. business management. Okay. A honor, I can say it's a, it actually influenced like me business wise because mm. when there was more like a talent and i come from a family of designers and other but what i learned at pentecost and gave me the practical we oh, had okay. to market the clothes brand so your home stuff. is actually full of designers oh yeah are they doing it commercially or you are the only one doing? Like they're also doing commercially yes so they are your competitors oh no really they are my support i can imagine how <laughs> like so how is it like how, how many people are doing it let, let, let's um, count them my mom your mom is in her own fashion yes, space and my auntie your auntie is also doing it yes and then you are also doing me it and my brother your, you and your brother so yeah. when you meet what do you talk about you see one thing about fashion is um we are doing casuals we do mm -hmm. more of casuals and you know jackets and stuff okay. and they do more of the female like you know the feminist okay. kind of gowns and sleeves and kaba and stuff so there's no competition because mm. they can't do what we are doing we can't also do, do what they are doing but then do you share ideas oh yeah we share ideas this would be awesome oh my god like your mom will yeah, be so especially like, my mom i had no fat satin being shahana on fat always they be uh she like when we start baby she will ha so come there like when you say when you say I don't know. Mask I won't shout on Percy, right? Okay. On your flag. Uh huh. Uh huh. So mm -hmm. my mom, even my auntie too, but she she's in New York. Okay. So when she comes back, every time be a yeah. Well, it's all branch well crowded that. Oh Eish. yeah, this one, like we have people. Ace, 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 ace. So what's your name of your brand? Boy and Bill. 
Boy and Bill, yeah. that's your brother. That's my Are you twins? No, he's my younger brother. Oh, okay, Boy and Bill. Yes. Hmm. We'll, we'll get into the whole, you know, yeah. dynamics of fashion. But I just, I, I, I'm enjoying the whole, you know, <laughs> the preliminary world where your family and your brother are <laughs> fine, pal. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's but great, actually. So how long now since you started? Um, since we started, like, professionally and commercially, mm. like, um, five years now. Yeah, since we actually started selling five years ago. Yeah, and you say you are now starting. Oh yeah. So <laughs> commercially, <laughs> on that commercial note, me too. I'm going for a commercial <laughs> because since I started some few minutes ago, I'm now about to sell. <laughs> so stay tuned. I'll be right back after this commercial break. My name is Elisha Boy. I come from Ghana, West Africa, and I'm a fashion designer. So for how long I've been creating fashion? I've been creating fashion for the past five years and everything has been going great. I started as a fashion designer, as a form of an extension of our family business. My mother is a fashion designer. My auntie is a fashion designer. We grew up in a house of fashion designs, colors, fabrics, patterns. In the house of fashion designers <laughs> right there. I, I also grew up <laughs> in the <a> house. <laughs> I can't see that one. <laughs> Shouts my mom and dad right mm -hmm. out there. Right, so now you're welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Still tune into the Late Night Celebrity Show. And I have Elisha Boy as my guest, who is a fashion designer. Now, like you said, fashion designer. Yeah. Now, let's let's get the difference just quite quickly. What's the difference between a fashion designer? Um, there was one where they said... Um, and the tailor. A tailor, and then there was another one. The the, stylist. A stylist. Okay, so um, basically the fashion designer creates from his own ideas. Like okay. Atadia Shema. I had to so come up with my own idea mm. that um, they are broken mirrors. They are quite kotogu. So how can I turn this around into something nice? Mm. So I came up with this idea and did this. And people are ordering for it. That they like it so that is a fashion designer like i designed so you designed from scratch i designed from scratch but you are now in kakrama me why okay me that's a baby so fashion designer mm -hmm. you designed from scratch i designed from <coughs> scratch <coughs> and people like it they mm. buy but with the tailor people take their ideas to the tailor Okay, so the tailor finishes probably what the uh, fashion yes. designer. Yes, the tailor have mastered the craft of sewing. Okay. Um, they go to um, they go to learn how to sew like mm -hmm. different kinds of clothes. Okay. So I always tell um, people who want to get into fashion say, you don't necessarily have to know how to sew or anything. To be if you idea. have the ideas, if you think so, you have the ideas. Mm -hmm. To for some clothes or a, a, a new idea on any cl like clothing idea, yeah. Take it to the nearby tailor, and then, and then, then discuss it. That this is the ideas you want him to bring into life for you. Okay, and then the stylist, the the stylist assemble the clothes the designer or the tailor makes on. Um, maybe an artist or a personality or anybody. Mm. Oh, okay. So okay. Um, right now you're wearing Bello Kuto. Mm. Shout out to Bello Kuto. He's oh, you know Bello yeah. to him. Yeah, big right. ups, big ups, Bello. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bello every day, every time. Yeah, man. He's my okay. guy, yeah, Bello. Oh. So you're wearing Bello. You give me the hat I wear it on my. This is Boy and Bill. Okay. I wear so, Bello couture. So Bello Boy and Bill. Yes. She, she is I'm wearing it. my boots. So mm -hmm. assembling all of these designs together to make sense fashion wise. Okay. Is styling. Oh. And okay. costuming. Uh, um, maybe like movies. So um, we are setting the movie back in 19. 
1975 or 1960s. Mm -hmm. So the costume, the costumier comes up with costumes from the 70s okay. to fit the characters in the cast. Okay. And that's okay. the costume. So oh. those are the differences. So I saw, I, like the video we just saw, you were out there talking about you from West Africa and yeah. etc. Where were you? What was it about? Um, last year, um, it, it was a program, um, Beyonce's mom and stepdad. They had this program called... Be what? Beyonce. <laughs> Beyonce's mom and stepdad? Yes. So you've met Beyonce? No. And no. our ma... No. <laughs> 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 so they, they had... They came to Ghana. The, um, Beyonce's mom mm. and stepdad, they came to Ghana for um, the year of return. So they came to tour around and learn about the culture and stuff. So when they went back, they started a new show called I Got The Mic. Mm -hmm. And they have a special segment where they feature a Ghanaian culture, like music, fashion, Whoa. and stuff. Yes. So the first one was about poetry. And the second episode was about fashion. So they sent me an email that um, they have seen my works and stuff. And they mm -hmm. want me to be on the show for the fashion. So. For the fashion segment, they interviewed me. Wow. So you didn't go with your brother? It was that time. So. so one person had to go. No, I, I, I didn't go. It was a virtual show. Oh, you did a virtual? Yeah, so. Um, how, did they, how did they get to see your work? Did you submit something or no, just social just media? Had, yeah, I just had the email. Like, I've, I've done a lot of stuff, like, online. Yeah, so. I think I can say that my presence online is huge. Yeah, yeah. I, saw, I saw your Instagram. Yeah, I've been doing a lot. So, But I was still surprised that they that you had, you had that. that they want me to be on the show. Because I was, I, was, I was surprised. So I was going to ask how you were able yeah. to sell you. And I saw an interview on uh, DWTV. Yeah. How did that happen? Um, it was on our project. Like, our, our brand, like, the difference between our Fameco, brand. Fameco, uh, Fameco <laughs> brand, Fameco brand. <laughs> the difference between our brand mm. and the others is um, though everyone is trying to sell, we are all trying to sell, but we, we take our time to also experiment with ideas like creating like this mirror creating jackets initiative. and stuff. So last year we did a project on um, rubber, like turning plastic ways into like jackets mm. and stuff and mm. yeah so mm. it was from that project that they spotted us and they came to um our place and we shot like i think three days or so and all right so ladies and gentlemen <laughs> one of the beauty of this interview was that it was hosted or the interview was done by one of our very own yeah. eddie michael yeah. who <laughs> who used to be here until he joined dw oh, tv wow. yeah <laughs> Take a look at this. I'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Environment through fashion. Well, if the passion is right, then you find a way. Just like fashion designer Elisha Ofori Bamfo and his fancy plastic clothing. Elisha Ofori Bamfo is a young fashion designer based in Ghana's capital, Accra. From this small workspace at his home, he designs and makes his fancy clothing from plastic waste. Bamfo and his brother, Kelvin, have been sewing for the past five years, but since 2018, they have been creating value out of all kinds of waste material. Eddie Micah! <laughs> Shout and big ups to Eddie Micah. Yeah, you see, so eat the video, yeah. oh, very soon you will see me on BBC. Don't be surprised because... Uh, be uh, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... I didn't know he was here. Though. Oh, he was here. He 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 hosted assembly. <laughs> he did the news and a few other programs oh, as wow. well. Yeah, okay. and sports as well with his deep voice. He he was even on our ident ETV wow. Ghana. Oh, Yo, okay. Part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, yeah. Okay. So uh, the mic had yeah, We and him. He's my body body. Wow. <laughs> I'm in flex caca. Oh, I used to eat banku with him. Oh, <laughs> wow. that's great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, shout out to Eddie Micah, wherever you are, you're doing a great job. Yeah. So now back to, so you used rubber 
to so what the, the entire costume was made of rubber yes wow because um there's a lot of waste outside there and timumu the india moko bola so a b if you're probably free we pack them and we mix it with some new ones because a boy you can't get the exact like mm. um way in, in shape uh, opposite with the jackets and other so we add some new ones with the old ones and like blend it together blend it. to create mm. the costume mm. the whole essence is to create some awareness uh, if it's a rubber you can do something with yeah, it yeah like it's, it's to inspire people to also come up with their own ideas mm. and do stuff with the rubbers instead of just dumping them awesome <laughs> i'm going for a quick commercial break <laughs> When I come back, more works from Elisha Boy and then more surprises on the show. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Lioness of Africa looking all pretty, pretty. Shouts to Riala, wherever you are. Good evening to you. So you're still tuning into the Late Night Celebrity Show. My name is Foster Romanos here on ETV Ghana. And my guest is an international fashion designer. Yeah, you got to put some respect on it. And he is by the name Elisha Boy. Just some few messages. And this one says, I love your show. And I'm proud of Elisha Boy. And I love his designs. So, boy, this is Melody. Oh. Mm. Melody. Melody. Shut up, Melody. Yeah. <laughs> Who friend of Mel, I guess. <laughs> 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 Who is Melody? Oh, mm. she's a friend. Oh. Yeah. It starts from friendship. She's my part of our team. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's, that's how it starts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one says, I'm Priscilla, also a fashion designer too, but I want to tell you that never give up even if things are difficult. And then this one says, wow, lovely designs. And um, good evening. Please tell him the sky is the limit. Um, okay. Obidu, I'll say hi. So, hello. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Riyala. Yeah. Um, now let, let's go to the people you've worked with. I mean, we've yeah. seen Riala. Which other, you know, uh, um, big Riala? Riala is actually like my friend, oh. and yeah, we have a deal with Riala, like for her clothing merchandise. Mm. We design her clothing, all her clothing merchandise. Mm. Yes, so Riala is a great friend. And yeah. Mufa men can win. Oh. Shout out to Riyala. Uh, now you can see Riyala yeah. rocking. So yeah. you did that one too. Yeah, Riyala have been rocking our stuff for ca like ca five Can we have that now. picture back? And this one as well. Yes. So where do you get the fabrics? Do you do them yourself or? No, we buy it. This we one too, you bought it? Yes. You but bought we, it? We buy exclusive fabrics. Yeah. So this one, you did it like yeah, from scratch? Printed, yeah, the Riyala. Yeah. Wow. This picture is from like three years ago awesome yeah and this one too this was last year whoa uh, yeah a couple i think some celebrities there yes, prior, uh, prior and, the and the wife yeah and uh, how do you put the uh, you know my you know that's my grandfather. That's your grandfather. Hey, we'll talk about is it? <laughs> we'll talk about okay. him too. We'll talk about him too. How do you put the Mirrors. mirror on? With the glue? Yeah, glue, but like different forms of to to glue. to make it stay. Yeah. Okay, and then this one is from rubber. Yes, the rubber. Wow. Jacket. The Ghana is that Kotoko? Yes. Kotoko ya Kotoko. Kotoko no. Uh, no, 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 no. How did you get it? Red, yellow, and. I, I saw some in town. Uh, it had the red, gold, green, so I had to grab it like fast. Wow. Yeah. You were almost, <laughs> you were almost in the world Guinness Book of World yeah. uh, <laughs> Guinness Book of World Records. Ghanaians attempt Guinness World Record for oldest model. Tell me about this thing. And this is just like two years ago. Yeah. So, um, like I said, with our brand, mm. we just don't want to sell. Then I need <laughs> <laughs> We want to experiment. We want to push yeah. the boundaries of like wh what and what like what the fashion designer <laughs> can do and what not. Cause me my, my whole thing is like if you look at musicians in terms of 
promotion and stuff like there's no boundary mm -hmm. they go all out to push their music they go for media tours here and there like i put publicity stands yeah. everything to sell their music but when it comes to stuff like fashion it's like oh my man yeah something nah, cool yeah, i need people mm. now nah, like we, we don't want to be comfortable we want to push because we want Ghanaians to recognize that there mm. are fashion designers who are also doing great. Yeah. And if we don't push enough for them to see us, then all our efforts will be in vain. Because I look at some of the so the DW and stuff we have done. If it was a musician, I'm like it would have been a big deal. Yeah. But it's a designer, like oh, people are like, okay, it's mm. cool, you know. Mm. So. Um, this was two years ago. We had this idea. Was it intentional? Um, what what, what were was you not, doing? Like I, I just had the idea. I think it's just by God's grace that I was... And that's your grandfather? Yes, that's my grandfather. He's a model. He, he, he has been like very stylish from the time we were young. And that's, the, that, that's your grandfather that's, there? That's him. He's still alive? He's still alive. Wow. He's very stylish. One time he even wore a pyjamas to church. Yes, so. <laughs> he wore a pyjamas. Because <laughs> he loved it and he couldn't, like. Just wear it to sleep. The yeah, just wear it to sleep. It. Right? It's, it's like, too <laughs> nice to keep indoors. It's too, uh -huh. I like that. Whoa. So, oh, I, I, how was the reception? Like, how did people take it? Like, <laughs> Puppy, <laughs> dad, where did you? You know, Ghanaian. Where did you? I was like, I'm in my Everything. Yeah. Whoa. Uh -huh. So, like, knowing how how he is, and, you know, and you see, when you grow, the whole concept too was. You look at older people and it looks like they don't have like dreams or they it's like their mm -hmm. life is boring mm -hmm. nobody wants so he's been coming to visit us every day in the house and i was like i have to use him for something you know but it's just that i was not really getting the idea mm -hmm. you know? so mm -hmm. one time i had this idea that ah, what's the age of the oldest model or something so i went to check it up and it was like um 82 or 81 I'm like oh my grandfather is like way older than that so way older that's yeah. like 90s yeah that's like 90s so Ooh. and he can still walk and i mean so i was like okay then i'll use him to model my clothes and challenge that record mm, mm, mm. so we did the shoots i filed for the record they accepted it told me to send my evidence and stuff. I sent my evidence and the process is still on. So that means that very soon you're going to be in yeah, the- Yeah, definitely. Ah! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I mean, it looks, I mean, just wonder if he's way older yeah. and you've proven that all mm -hmm. the designs are from you from scratch. Yeah. Then, I mean, what are they waiting for? You see, um, where, where, where is the oldest man from though? Um, I don't remember. But but one thing about the Guinness Book of World Records is if um, you apply for a record, th there are charges. Like, if you want the results, if you want them to verify the results within like two weeks oh or a okay. month, so you pay some amount. If you want it in three days, you pay some amount so that they do it faster. Right? Express. But if you're not paying, it takes like two months or three months. So, we were not paying, so yeah, Ghanaian. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we were not paying, so it's been back and forth. Like they have to verify it after two months. It's like, okay, can you provide us with the certificate, the birth certificate? Mm. You know, send it, take another month. So it's just like going. Oh, okay. but you, are, you are comfortable with that? Yeah, the whole idea was to make a statement that older people to have a life, and mm. once they are alive. Those pictures were in the mirror newspaper. Whoa. We had a full front page mirror. Mm. And it was great. Like the family, the extended family, everybody was talking about. It. They bought the papers. They were calling him. I went to my grandfather's place. He had a copy of it. He would film it. Yeah, with ah, him in the idea. whole page, like colored. Wow. The whole family was excited. So I was happy. Like, 
Mm. That aside the Guinness Book of Rec World Records, I was able to put him in the newspapers at as least. well. As well, that, that, yeah. that's so awesome. <laughs> that's so awesome. Right, so we'll be right back to continue the discussion. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> you closer to your superstars, and we have Elisha Boy, a fashion designer, as our guest tonight. If you just joined us, this is the Late Night Celebrity Show here on ETV Ghana. And uh, the phone line is activated 055-565-7278. You can call and talk to Elisha right here. 055-565-7278. Let's look at support and the media okay. and challenges. You did your rubber thing and DW picked it up. Yeah. You were able to just push yourself to um, the World Book of Records. And then you got yourself into the one with uh, Beyonce's mom and all. I was also on um, Voice of America. Voice of America as well. Yes. These are media outlets outside. Are you getting the same recognition with our media home? Um, out here, it's, it's a bit hard. Like, like I was explaining, here it's mostly about music, music and yeah. stuff. Yeah. So for these kind of moves, if it was a musician i think yeah it would have been a big deal, you know? so with all the challenges um i've been on several platforms to uh, media platforms radio tv some have been supportive that's why i'm here now i mean shout out <laughs> to etv so um I, I can say that it's with time when some of us push the boundaries and mm. create that recognition for the fashion industry. Okay. I believe that um, with some time to come, that like attention in few, will come. That attention will come. Because mm. it's not me pe, who is doing great. Like I have other great designers like Mohamed Black. He he painted the models um, and dancers in Beyonce's already video. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Kojo Kusi. Bello Couture is doing Bello, great. Bello, Bello, Bello. <laughs> Bello is doing great. Like awesome. our brands here. Yeah. Um, um, Neil Davids. Like so many guys. They are doing amazing. Free the, to our brand here as well. Free yeah. the youths, Ghana. They are doing amazing. Like this Christmas, the um, Davido, Whiskey Dance went for their pop up show to buy stuff. And they are all doing mm. amazing. But mm. It's just that I think the media doesn't the media. know about it because mostly they want to follow the same narrative. It's, it's music and we music. Are and and now, we are a we are beef here, we are beef here. And the beef and also, I think with time when wow. some of us continue to break the boundaries, they're going to pay attention to us, mm. definitely. They have to. <laughs> Hello. I mean that, I mean that. Why go on with bridging? Charlie, what be the name? Where you they call me from? This is Yobo from Tesla. Yo, man, like Yobo, I go on. Charlie, today, I don't be the star. The star is there. Charlie, the guy for me, I mean, as this is what we want to do. In Ghana, so like we do something as a Ghanaian and then it will get to the world. Yeah. That's what we are expecting every year to do. So we don't have always to depend on the government, but then we can do something else. So big up to him, big up to him. Man like Yobu! Sports sports presenter one. <laughs> Charlie. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling. <laughs> All right. So um, we're, we're talking now. Let's talk about challenges. Yeah. What are the challenges that the industry is facing or you are facing? Um, I think the number one challenge is finance. Mm. Yeah. We we need support. So, so there's a lot you want to do, but the money no day. That's it. Like, but you got a place for UK, US, and oh, things. Does, <laughs> yeah, but still, like, don't you do know. more. I want billion dollar kind of project. That's it. Um, I look at it that some of the things we have done. If I was there, I would have get 
investors easily. But there are some ideas and stuff that I want to mm. do. Hold on, I have another call. Hello. Hello. Yes, boss. Your name and where you're calling from? I'm Ross calling from Osu Aguan. Wow, me dear Ross. Yo, I go out with you. Today, yeah. All right, bless her. Go on, go on and talk to you. Me brother, Elisha. Um, I want to see the picture of the old man. I really can come watch join the show very, very late. So I want to see him pictures. Okay. The one that is submit for Google, uh, Guinness Book of Records. Ah, it's on the screen now. Have you seen it? Yeah, I want to see the pictures. That be oh, oh, like okay. I want to see the inspirational pictures. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. On the screen right now. Yeah. yeah. And oh, cool, cool, cool. The body falls. The body falls because the designer is shit. It'd be like African in some continental <laughs> shit. <laughs> 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 hey, you, hey, me that's it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's right. And the way they come there, they beg you. Eh? <laughs> Charlie, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, SDF for you for keep on small. Thank you. All right. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so like I'm saying, there are some ideas when I discuss with people. They are. Uh, <laughs> Please go on. When I discuss with people mm. that this is what I want to do, this and that. They are afraid. They want to invest, but they are afraid. Like, can it sell here? Like fashion, yeah. Uh -huh. Can it sell here? And mm. so, I think the number one challenge is finance. Like in terms of investment, yeah. People investing into our craft for us to produce more. Mm. So now, what I do mostly is like I take pre-orders. Like if someone orders, I you have to give me some days, and you know, because so you do. I don't have yeah. the capacity to create more at a go. So. But is, uh, is what you do expensive? Um, yeah, it's kind of expensive and it takes time too. In terms of your sale, after you've done it, uh, like I say, it's expensive to uh, produce. It's, when not, you're it's not really expensive. But it's expensive to produce and it's obvious. <laughs> <way of opinion>. <laughs> <laughs> People are willing to buy like for, I mean, we have sold like thousands. So mm. I mean, like. So like this jacket, for instance, how much will one cost? Oh, it's between like 100 and 150 cities. Oh, wow. It's not bad. It's, it's not no, bad. It's not it's that it's bad. Average, I mean. It depends on who is buying. <laughs> 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 but do you think that Ghanaians are, are into it? Like the response? Yeah, the response. How, how the response? Like, are they there? Oh, it's nice, but they don't, you know, follow up with the purchasing the, or. The, the response has been amazing. I'm even surprised. Like, what I'm wearing now, I went for an interview on another platform mm. and I had like a similar thing. I had people from- Wanting that one? Yes. So how long does it take to do this one? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, several hours. Just, just hours. Can yeah, we go hours. back? <laughs> <laughs> mm. So this one is a, it's just a jacket yeah, or like- it's, it's a suit jacket. And a mask. And the mask. Yeah. Why the mask? Oh yes, just, How just the ideas, yeah. it's good that Max. Is, uh, <laughs> 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 All right, so last message, yo, Elisha mm -hmm. boy, is your guy from Teshi. You make me watch television for the first time in a long time. Big up yourself. The sky is the limit. Yo, and shout then, out to him. Yeah, then <laughs> this one says that Roman is still boy to keep up, uh, keep the fire burning. This is from Ezra. And I'm um, his partner in Ukraine and my mate too. Whoa, Ezra, shout out Ezra. Ezra, okay, Ezra. okay. So, I mean, it's time to wrap up your final yeah. message and um, your social media handles. Okay, so um, my, my final words is like, um, people should support us just like the way they support the musicians. Mm. We have ideas, we are breaking boundaries, we are connecting to the world. We are doing, I mean, more than some musicians, actually, with the platforms that we have been on. Mm -hmm. but because we are designers, they don't give us that attention. So people should pay attention to what we are doing. We are doing great. They should support us, mm. buy our stuff, so that we can make more money more to money. invest into more ideas. My um, handle, you can first Google Elisha Boy. So this one was when? Um, I won, I was part of the 
three winners for the EU Climate Week um, photo. And you put the photo in the money. Yes. How much did you do? <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> I can't disclose <laughs> that. That's why I put the emoji. <laughs> <laughs> it just brought us that one. Yes. Yo. So this it. was last year. Last year was actually great. Mm. So. Oh wow. Yeah. So the the social media handle. Like um. It. You you Google Elisha Boy first, and on Facebook it's Elisha Boy. E L L I S H A. Yeah. I want you to emphasize on that. B O I E. On Instagram at Elisha Boy. On LinkedIn is. Elisha boy, TikTok, Elisha boy, Good. TikTok. Yes, the fashion designer is more TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> it's so part of. Okay, it. so his Elisha is a double L, E double L I S H A, and the boy is a B O I Can with I shout an out E. To some people? Quickly, five seconds. Okay, so um, shout out to my mom. She's watching. Um, <laughs> Grace <laughs> Bamfo. Um, shout out to Sandy Heckney. Shout out to my brother. Um, Calvin Bill, shout out to my boy DB. <laughs> your boy. Yeah. Wait to your boy. <laughs> by the by the MPs new back home. I'm introducing the husband. Yeah. <laughs> my boy. Uh, he's <laughs> part of. Uh, he's part of the yeah, team. Yeah, the team. Just like yeah. Melody. <laughs> yeah, ah. just like Melody. Shout out Melody. Shout mm. out. Um, I sent a broadcast on my WhatsApp. All those watching, I mean, shout out to them for the yeah, support. Yeah, and my name is Foster <laughs> Romano. Shout out to you all. Thank you very much for watching the show. Up next is In Bed with Adrian.